Hello everyone, welcome back to another FDC video. Today I'm going to give you a high score tutorial on how to get a high score on Drift Park Route C. I hope you enjoy the video, let's get straight into it. So first of all I'll show you the video of the run itself so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Then we'll go into what specs you need on your car to get this score and we'll go for a breakdown of the run itself. Let's get into it. So as you can see the score I got was a 140.3, that's the scores you want to be hitting and aiming for. Now for the specs of the car, the tyres you want to be running are Pagia tyres, they have a grip of 175, you want the most grip possible because it will give you the most speed on the track. Then for your engine, you want a maxed out engine with 717 horsepower so you can get the most speed possible again because speed is key when it comes to getting high scores. Now for the breakdown of this run, you're going to start your run, you want to go full throttle all the way to the initiation point. You want to initiate as late as possible, so you'll get a speed of 14, which is what you're aiming for. Once you've initiated, you want to get as close to the wall as possible, and you want to get a score of 11 out of 12 on the wall. It's possible to get 12 out of 12, but it actually does affect your score, and you get less points than if you was to get 11 out of 12 on the wall. Another thing you want to know is that when you initiate, you don't want to use your handbrake at all because it slows down the car. I use tilt controls so I flick the phone and by doing that I actually gain more speed on the initiation which means I get more points. Then moving on to your drift sector, you want to hit all the clipping points whilst also keeping the smoothest angle possible whilst having a good relative speed so you can get good points on that sector. Now heading into the transition zone, you want to straighten up the car as much as possible whilst going as fast as possible. Now you want to do this because in the transition zones it's all judged on speed and as I said the speed is key and that's where all the points are so you need to go as fast as possible throughout that zone, it doesn't matter about the angle or anything. Now we are moving on to our second speed zone where you can actually take the car out of drift and drive all the way to the next zone. A lot of people don't know this because when you do the battles with the AI cars they actually keep on drifting with a very shallow angle but you can actually straighten up and go as fast as you can into the next zone to get more points with more speed. Now moving on to the last sector, it's the last drift sector. All you want to do is keep a smooth angle and that's it. You'll get 24 points, 25 points, that's what you're aiming for. But all you want to do is just keep a simple, smooth angle until you finish the run. So taking a look at my final score, I got a 140.3. And as you can see, you can go into all these sectors and look at where you're going wrong, where you've been deducted points, where you need to get more points, and just a breakdown of the score itself. Anyways, that does wrap it up for this video. I do hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed, be sure to like the video or subscribe. It really does help out the channel and helps grow and make better content. Thank you for the support. Anyways, I'll see you next time.